So I have an unconventional background for the ranching industry. My parents are college professors. No agriculture in my upbringing. I got into this because of pure passion for cooking. I love making food from a young age and I started to bake bread and make cheese myself and made it through college and after that I went to southern Europe and I started working in dairies as a cheesemaker. But I always was really interested in where stuff came from. I saw that the more simple and basic and environmental the production system was, the more delicious the product was and also you could feel better about it. So I made it my life's work to improve the quality and the caliber of some of these incredible products that we love to work with and love to cook with. That's pretty good. Looks really, really nice. So the way that we do things at Belcampo is pretty different in every aspect from conventional farming and ranching. We feel it's really important to raise animals in outdoor conditions animals that are out using their muscles, walking around. We feed them grass, which is the healthiest, most natural diet for beef. We practice natural mothering, natural impregnation, natural weaning. The wellness goes really hand in hand, in my experience, with excellent culinary performance. It's unique in the sense that we're vertical. We are in charge of that animal the second it hits the ground, all the way through its life cycle to the second it's processed, to sending it down to a restaurant, to having it prepared and served to you as well. People often ask about me being a woman CEO of a meat company, and you know, as a leader of our company, the fun challenge is how do we grow a team that's just on fire to get people to pay attention to this aspect of their life? That's the exciting frontier for me as a leader in this company. Clean water, clean sky, so this is really what we hope is the future of ranching. Anya entering agriculture, I mean, she's definitely been shunned by, you know, the older cattle men are like, oh, what's this lady doing? But no, she's just shrugged it off and it's like, hey, guess what? I'm gonna do it better than you, and uh, she has. We have an extremely clean supply chain, so if you're gonna eat anybody's pork rare, eat my pork rare. <laughs> Go to it. You know, meat's a challenging space. It's a tough decision for a lot of people. And people, when they come here, they're like, oh my gosh, this is a livestock ranch? This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. One thing that is overwhelmingly said to me is, I will never look at food the same. Not only because it's delicious, but because of the treatment of the animals, the treatment of the planet, and just the good people behind it. We're really a different model. Better for the animals, tastes better, positive impact on the environment, good for your health. That's the four reasons that I get out of bed for every morning. That's the change I want to be in the world. <laughs>